Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome to a new month. It is July the 1st. We are leaving June in the rear view mirror, and as I like to do at the end of every month and the start of a new one, I like to talk a little bit about the month that we just had and talk a little bit about the month that we hope to have coming up here. So, uh, talking just first about the YouTube side of things, the month of June, obviously, this might be the slowest month of the year for football content. Um, not only do you have no games being played, not only is the draft a uh, kind of a distant thing of the past at this point because we've all had over a month to digest the uh, decisions the team made in the draft. Um, not only is free agency basically moving like a glacier, it, it, it's just very little is happening, if anything. And for most teams, rosters have already basically been set. You usually don't get trades. So there's really not a whole lot going on in the month of June. So it didn't take a genius to figure out that the month of June was going to be a little bit slower on this channel than pretty much any other month in the year. And that was the case. We didn't really have any like breaking news to talk about when it came to the Seahawks. About the closest that we got was we got some reports at a training camp, but they weren't solid, concrete, actionable things. They were more like, this guy looks good at doing this. This guy's doing that. What does that end up meaning? Who knows? Devin Witherspoon's playing inside. He's playing slot corner um, in training camp because um, Kobe Bryant is out and uh, Woolen was missing part of a camp, so we saw a little bit more of Michael Jackson, and he looked really good. Stuff like that, but you don't know if that means anything. You just kind of talk about it because you you don't have a whole lot else to talk about. So that was basically June. Uh, we did a good, great job filling the time, I think, though. We found things to talk about. We talked about those camp storylines around guys like Witherspoon, Jackson, JSN, Dwayne Eskridge. We talked about um, PFF and the ranking lists they were putting out. We did our own ranking lists. We did a couple of streams where we did some tier maker stuff, which I thought was fun. Um, they weren't smashing successes or anything like that, but they helped keep the channel moving during a period of time when things were really slow, like maybe three, four videos a week at some points. So that was cool. Uh, we did talk a little bit about stuff like Mario Edwards because he was a very late signing by this team. We talked about some decisions the team might be making in the upcoming month. But yeah, it was a slow month. Uh, before the month started, I said I hope that we can get to let we can add like 60 subs over the course of the month. We ended up adding about 34, 35, something like that. So it was indeed a very slow month it, it, it's um you're not going to see a big growth when you're not putting out um videos during a time of great action right like if the seahawks play a game and i post a video about the game you're going to get a bunch of people coming to your channel who haven't been there before because they're like oh this game just happened i want to watch a video about it oh this guy just uploaded a video so during the month of june there's just not really going to be a lot of uh new subscribers uh but we did a good job. Uh, I, I think that um, the videos that I posted were, you know, making the best of the slow month. And I think that I posted some stuff that people enjoyed and got something out of. So at the end of the day, that's all that you can do. And hey, you're going to have a month like this. And for a sport like football, where you only have games in basically a five month period, counting the playoffs. It's pretty nice to be able to only have two real super dead months where you're not expecting hardly anything to happen. So yeah, it was a uh, slow month for growth. The uh, channel was pretty stagnant, but we had fun. We found ways to make the most of it. We found things to talk about when there wasn't necessarily a lot going on. And we're here now. We're here in July. And the, the thing is... July may end up not really being any different because this month is going to be similarly slow, I think. We don't really get anything meaningful from the Seahawks until near the end of the month. And near the end of the month, we're going to start to see information coming out of training camp. Um, we're going to start to see 
some actionable things like is anybody holding out is anybody um pitching uh, uh pitching a fit about their contract is anybody trying to get traded could the seahawks get involved in anything like that do the seahawks have any disgruntled players but the first few weeks of july it's it's going to be slow again last year we had a little bit of stuff going on that I don't believe we're going to have this year. Last year, you had like the DK Metcalf stuff. Are we going to extend DK Metcalf or are we going to trade him? Or are we just going to let him play out the last year of his contract, uh, rookie contract? Uh, there was that drama. We don't really have anything like that this year. Closest thing that we have might be like Nwosu and I, I guess you could say Damian Lewis. But other than that... There really isn't a lot that can happen over the next month or so. Some years, you might have cap space. Seahawks don't have cap space right now. We can't really afford to bring in any of the available free agents, even if we wanted them. Like, Shelby Harris is still out there. There are some good defensive linemen out there. We don't really have any money. So, unless we want to overextend ourselves to bring in one of those guys, which I gotta believe that if we were going to do that, we would have done it already then there's no money to bring anybody in. There's no money to trade for an asset. Like if Quinn and w Williams ends up getting traded out of New York or um, somebody like that, there's not going to be enough money for us to make that trade. So the odds of anything happening here are really low in my estimation. Um, if anything major does happen, it's unfortunately probably going to be in the realm of like losing a player to create cap space because I think we need to create a little bit more to make ends meet this uh, season, but more than likely, you're not going to have the little bits of intriguing Seahawks drama that you had last year. Um, last year was very mysterious. We didn't know who our quarterback was going to be in July. We didn't know who our running back was going to be. We weren't sure how the offense was going to look because we only had the one year of uh, Waldron. Uh, we, we didn't know a lot of things. Last year, this year feels more concrete. We know Gino is, our, Gino is our quarterback. We know who our top three receivers are and how they're going to be used more or less. We know what we can expect to get out of our tight ends. We have a much better idea of what to expect out of a guy like Nwosu because we've seen him have his breakout year. So there's just not going to be as much to go into. So quite honestly, July is probably going to be a month that is very similar to June on this channel. I'll talk about whatever I can come up with that's interesting enough to talk about. And if things happen, of course I'll be there to cover it. But straight up, I'm not expecting a lot to happen. I think we're just going to start getting ready for the season. Like mentally trying to understand what kind of team we might have and what to expect from them. And unlike last year, I think we have a much better idea of what that's going to be because we've seen most of these guys now for an extended period of time and have a pretty good feel for what we're going to get out of them. So... That's basically what's going on in July. Uh, to be perfectly honest, unless something big happens, then I would say the the goal for the month for me would be to just get to that 13,600 sub count. So we're right now, as of me recording this video, we are 24 away. Like that that's basically kind of what I'm expecting because again, growth is just going to be slow right now. But August preseason, more in-depth training camp stuff is coming right around the corner. So as soon as that picks up, everything's going to pick up around here. We're going to get back to daily videos, multiple videos a day probably. And everything's going to go back to normal. So of course, it's not a concern. So yeah, that's basically the YouTube side of things. I do have some ideas for videos over the month, but um, there, there could be long uh, dead periods. There could be several days where there's just nothing to talk about. Um, it will just we're just gonna have to go with the flow here. Now, um, as for that, that's basically the YouTube side of things. So thank you everybody for a fun month. It obviously wasn't a huge month, but it's always expected. So thank you everybody who's hung around. Thank you everybody who watches the videos. You're always appreciated. And I'm going to continue to do things the way that I am doing them. I was happy with the way things went for the most part in June. Given the fact that we had no actionable news to talk about, it went about as good as you could have hoped. Uh, Twitch. Now, Twitch, to uh, talk about what we did over there in the month of June real quick. It was a really fun month. We got through Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Beat it. Really good game. Bordering on great. Very close to greatness. 
I was very impressed. It's the my favorite Zelda game that I played. Not that I played a lot, but um, really, really uh, impressive game. I was happy with it. Uh, started Final Fantasy 16. We're about halfway through now. I'm really liking that one as well. And uh, probably going to beat that over the next couple weeks here. And we also are pushing through pretty close to the end of Elden Ring. And that's another great game. So it was a really fun month on Twitch. Uh, again, I continue to notice the trend that I noticed last month, which is there's actually a direct correlation between football stuff to talk about and uh, my streams on Twitch. The streams this month were pretty sparsely uh, uh, sparsely populated. A lot of streams where there just weren't a lot of people coming around. And as near as I can tell, it is because there's nothing to talk about football-wise. I thought it would be the other way around. I thought that people would want to come out to the Twitch because there's not very much happening on YouTube and they would just want to chill and talk about stuff. But people actually come to the Twitch to talk about Seahawks stuff. And the more Seahawks stuff there is to talk about, the more people actually go to the Twitch to talk about Seahawks stuff. And the less Seahawks stuff is going on, uh, the less uh, engagement those uh, Twitch streams get. So it was kind of slow in terms of that. I think I might have picked up like just a couple new followers over the course of the month. We're at a 505 now, which is still an awesome milestone. Never really thought I was going to get there when I started streaming over there. But um, I will say I do have some long-term concerns about Twitch with the way things are starting to go with um, them losing a lot of their streamers and supposedly losing money. I don't know where that site's going to be in the next couple years, and I am considering some alternatives. But for now, we're going to just continue to stick it out over there. I've said this before, I'll say it again. I would be streaming, I would be playing video games on my own time without streaming it. I just figure, well, I can just turn the stream on and people can come hang out with me and watch and talk to me and stuff. And it's not like I'm doing something that I don't like doing or doing something that I wouldn't be doing anyway. So it doesn't really, it's it's not like there's some sort of cost of me streaming. It's all just benefits of being able to chill with uh, cool people, talk with cool people, and people get to watch me play. So, yeah. Obviously, a really, really slow month on Twitch in terms of, like, growing the channel and getting people into the streams. Um, and it's just that correlation, which, again, kind of surprises me, but maybe it shouldn't. But uh, the month of July is going to be a pretty interesting month. Like I said, I think in the next couple months here, we're going to... I'm sorry, the next couple weeks, we're going to beat Final Fantasy XVI. Um, really happy with the way that's going. And I think we're going to beat Elden Ring because we're pretty close to the end here. That's been a long-running playthrough. I've paused it a couple times for other games. But um, I do believe that later this month, probably sometime in the midpoint of this month, we're going to finish it. And at that point, I really need to do something that's a little more chill because I played a lot of more high-focus, intense games. I need something chill. So there's not really going to be a ton of great stuff coming out in the month of July, or really there isn't a ton coming out until the end of the year with like Starfield and Final Fantasy VII Remake and Spider-Man 2. So I'm probably going to actually start playing some Animal Crossing on stream, and that's like as chill a game as it gets. So that should be fun. That'll be a change of pace from what, I, what I've been playing lately. And I might start doing the Diablo 4 thing. I'm not sure um, with uh, my with co-op partners, but we'll see. Uh, it's hard to schedule these uh, sessions sometimes. So I don't know if I'm going to do Diablo 4 yet or not, but it is on the list. I am going to have a look at it. I am going to uh, try it out at some point. I just don't know if it's going to be this month. And I... Um, other than that, I'm probably just going to uh, kind of pick random older stuff. Maybe I go back to Wolong, but I'll tell you, I've had enough of the uh, FromSoft style of game for a while now. I've been playing a lot of FromSoft or pseudo FromSoft or kind of faux FromSoft lately. Ready to do something else for a little while, but that's the plan on Twitch over the next month. If any of that sounds fun and interesting to you, stop on by, give me a follow, and... Uh, yeah, let's get ready to have fun. But uh, that's what we're looking forward to in July. Hope to see you guys soon. Go Hawks.